Yo, what's up, people? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? This is Tiario, and I'm back, y'all, with another video and also another eye opening message and truthful topic. And in this message, y'all, I'm going to be talking about how your life ain't nothing but a movie. How is it going to end? I'm going to repeat it. Your life ain't nothing but a movie. How is it going to end? Okay, one more time. Your life, I want you to look at your life with an open eye, please. Get Christianity out the way. Get religion out the way. Get all this nonsense out the way and just look at your life. Your life ain't nothing but a movie. That's all it is. Your life ain't nothing but a movie. But how is it going to end? How is the movie going to end? Now, y'all, first thing first before I get off into this message right quick, y'all. I got to say this for all of you people out there who think life is a game. You think life is a joke. This message is not for you. For you people out there who want to just stay following lies and all this silly Billy stuff. This message is not for you. If you are not spiritual, this message is not for you because you will not even understand this. In order for you to understand messages like this, you have to put on your spiritual thinking cap and you have to look at things with an open eye. Stop looking at stuff the way preachers told you to look at it and all this religion, Christian, mess, and Muslim, Mormon, Jehovah Witness nonsense. Okay? Look at this thing with an open eye the way God wants you to. Your life ain't nothing but a movie. Okay? Now, about to get into this message, man. Y'all. Let's look at it like this. All of us watch movies. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a kid. I don't care if you're a teenager. I don't even care if you are an adult. All of us watch movies. Let's just be real, okay? Children watch children movies, okay? Well, now we live in a time now that where kids are watching demonic stuff, so it's crazy now. You, um, you got five-year-olds who, well, who looking at movies that they're not even supposed to be watching. So all of us look at movies, all of us. Okay, and let's be honest, y'all. What's the number one thing that we look for in a movie? Let's tell the truth. Tell the truth. What's the number one thing that we all have in common when we look at movies? What are we waiting for? We waiting for the end. Let's be realistic, y'all. We are waiting for the end. Let's keep it real. All of you people who are listening to this message right now, all of you people who watch movies, be honest, we all looking for the same thing when we watch the film. We looking for the end. How is this movie going to end? How is it going to end? Now, you may like different movies from me. And I might like different movies from you. But we both looking for the same stuff. We looking at how the movie is going to end. Is the movie going to end sad? Is the movie going to end happy? Is the movie going to end full of joy? Some movie endings will shock you because you'll be like, damn, I didn't think that'd happen. Some movie endings will make you cry. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Some movies in the end will make you sad. Some will make you angry. Some will make you hurting and in tears. And some movies, the way it ends, it'll make you smile because you like the way it ended. But I got to tell you, your life ain't nothing but a movie. You watching movies, but you're not watching your own life. Your life ain't nothing but a movie. And the question is to you, how is it going to end? Okay, now y'all, let's be realistic. Messages like this, they don't talk about this stuff in church. And it's sad because everybody who's sitting in church, their lives ain't nothing but a film. It's a movie from the way you was born till when you became a teenager till you got older your life ain't nothing but a movie but how is it going to end now i gotta say this the way your life is going to end that's all up to you it's not up to god it's not up to your friends it's not up to your pastor it's not up to church religion and all this stupid stuff it's up to you okay how your life is going to end? That's the question. How your life is going to end? I got to tell y'all something right quick, man. We live in a time now, y'all, to whereas people not looking at the end. Let's be real. Look at just Just look at all these people who are making all these stupid choices. Your choices shows you ain't even looking at the end. Seriously. 
You ain't thinking about the end. You worrying about now. This is the problem with everybody. Everybody's focused on now. Nobody is looking at how their life going to end. Everybody's worrying about right now. Seriously, man. So many people, y'all, are making stupid choices after stupid choices after stupid choices because they're not looking at the end. They're too busy worrying about now. They got to go to the club now. They got to get with a man now. They got to get with the woman now. They got to get high now. They got to make themselves feel happy now. See what I'm saying? They got to go around all these phony friends and, and evil family members now. They're not looking at how is this going to end? People who smoke cigarettes. Come on, y'all. They're not looking at the end. They're not looking at the fact that they can catch cancer, lung cancer and all this stuff. They're trying to smoke a cigarette now. They're trying to get drunk now. You got people out there, y'all, who be in these cursed relationships that's not even ordained by God. People be getting their feelings hurt over and over and over. You got people who even be marrying people, just marrying the wrong person. You want to know why, y'all, these people be just running to this stuff? Because they're not looking at the end. They're looking at now. If you are a woman and you're listening to this right now, the reason why you in these stupid relationships that ain't working and you trying to get married and all this stupid stuff instead of you focusing on God because you're not looking at the end. You too busy looking at right now. You need a man right now. You need some sex right now. You see what I'm saying? And, and men are the same way. Men are the same way. Seriously. The number one reason why men go to clubs because they're looking for a woman. They're looking for somebody to have sex with. Because the men are too busy trying to fulfill their personal needs right now. And y'all, let's just be honest. The majority of the people are trying to fulfill their personal needs right now. That's right. Women be needing sex so bad, so they'll just marry anybody. Men be needing it so bad, they'll just start banging anybody. They'll get into a relationship with anybody. The majority of the people, y'all, are focused on their personal needs right now. Nobody's looking at how their life going in. How your life going in? That's what you need to be thinking about. I'm being honest, man. The hell with church. The hell with Christian preachers. The hell with religion. The hell with Christianity. The hell with all this Israelite stupid stuff. The hell with Muslims, Jehovah Witnesses, and Mormons. You know what I need to be focused on? How my life going in? How my life going in? Now, here it is, y'all. I got to say this right quick. I got to say this right quick. Some of y'all, your life going in in depression. Remember, your life ain't nothing but a movie. And we all look at movies because we wait for the end. Some movies end in depression. It's people who are listening to this right now. Your life going to end in depression. It's going to end in depression. You're going to die sad, miserable. Some people, life going to end in loneliness. Just lonely. That's right. Sitting in a house with a dog and a cat. Sitting in a rocking chair. Some people, life going to end in anger. They just going to die angry, man. They going to die in anger. Some people life, y'all, going to end in poverty. They're going to die in poverty, y'all. They will never amount to nothing. They will never become nothing great. They're going to stay poor. They're going to stay struggling. They like a pity bills. Living from check to check to check to check, struggling. There is no favor on their life. Their life story going to end in poverty. And I'm just being real with y'all, man. This is some very true stuff. I just got to be real with y'all. Some people lives go in in total frustration. Just frustrated. Just 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 frustrated, man. Because when they was living their life, they weren't looking at the end. Seriously. Remember y'all, all movies don't end well. All movies don't end well. Let's just tell the truth. Some movies in you be shocked. You be like, "Damn." I didn't think that'd happen. And that's just how your life is. Life ain't nothing but a movie. Seriously. It's crazy, but it's the truth, man. You know? How your life gonna end, man? That's what's important. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need to be focused on more than anything, the end. Now, me, y'all, I'm gonna just keep it real with y'all, man. 
I'm the kind of person, y'all, and I just got to tell y'all the truth. I'm the kind of person to whereas I always look at the end. That's just me. I've been looking at the end since I was a, 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 a kid, man. That's just me. I'm always looking at the end. I can't help it. That's just a gift from God that I have. I look at the end. I don't look at now. I look at the end. I look at how this going to end. See what I'm saying? I've always been like that ever since I was young, man. And I'm being honest. Look where it got me. Look where it got me. I've made small choice after small choice after small choice after small choice because I always look at the end. Seriously. I'm just being honest, y'all. If I meet a woman, I don't look at now. I don't look at, oh, she's cool. She's hot. She's beautiful. No, I look at how this going to end. How, how is this going to end? How is this going to end? That's how I look at it. I look at how is it going to end with this woman. You see what I'm saying? Even when I meet people and pe you know, and people be trying to be my friend and be close to me, I look at how it's going to end. How is this friendship going to end? Seriously. That, that's how I look at it. How is this friendship going to end? How is this relationship going to end, lady? Because let me tell you, if it ain't going to end good, I ain't even about to get with you. I'm not wasting my time. I don't have time to waste. If it ain't going to end good, why even get in the relationship? You see what I'm... Y'all, come on, y'all. This is truth, and this is what you need to hear. I'm going to repeat it one more time, and if you are listening to this, write this down. Here it is. If it's not going to end well, why even get in the relationship? It ain't going to end well. Don't you see what I'm saying to you, man? Come on, y'all. Let's be realistic. If you was looking at the end... You will be making small choices with your life. Seriously. Me personally, this is why Tiario is happily single. Because I'm looking at the end. I am not about to just, just get with some woman because she have good sex. I'm not about to just get with some woman because she's pretty. I'm not about to just get with some woman because she's smart and elegant. I'm not about to just get with some woman because she got money. I'm looking at the end. How is this going to end with us? That's what I'm looking at. How this going to end? Because if this thing is not going to end well, don't waste my time and I ain't even going to waste your time. How this going to end? I don't have time to play games. Even in friendships. How this friendship going to end? Is, is we going to be loyal to each other and ride to the end? Because if, if you're going to portray me in the friendship, we don't need to be friends. See what I'm saying, y'all? You, you, you see what I'm saying? When you look at life like this, man... It saves you so much trouble. I'm going to repeat it. Here it is. If we're going to be friends, I need to be looking at the end of this friendship. How is this friendship going to end? Because if this friendship is not going to end well, and you're going to portray me, what, years later, then we don't need to be friends. We don't need to be friends. Because you're going to portray me two years later. So why even be friends with you? Why get close with you when you're going to portray me two years later? See what I'm saying? Come on, y'all. Your life is a movie and you got to look at how it's going to end. Trust me on this. When you look at how it's going to end, you will save yourself so much trouble and you won't even get in foolishness. Start looking at the end and open up your freaking eyes, man. Okay? I'm just being honest. Y'all, some people's lives going to end in total hurt. They're just going to be hurting and their lives going to end in hurt. Some people's lives going to end hooked on drugs. I'm just being honest. Some people's lives going in hooked on drugs. I got to tell y'all was real, man. Okay? Some people's lives going in, they, they was married to the wrong person. See what I'm saying? It's the truth. Some people's lives end like that. They just end up married to the wrong person. And that's it. And, the light, and their life is over. And it's time for them to go get judged by God. See what I'm saying? All movies don't end well. We know that. And y'all, me personally, I love watching movies. I have a dozen of films. I love watching movies, man. And all movies don't end well. You see what I'm saying? This is the truth. It's the truth. Some of y'all, y'all lives going to end to whereas you just married the wrong person, had a bunch of babies by the wrong person, and your life going to end. It's over. That's how your life going to end. Some of you people, your life going to end in hurt, pain, depression, drugs, drinking, Seriously, some of y'all lives going to end in religion. You're just a religious freak. You're just a religious fool. 
You're going to stay going to church over and over and over and over and over. Hearing the same old church sermon over and over and over and over and over. Your life going to end in religion. And y'all, let's be realistic. I got to speak truth on this. Look at church people. Just look at them. Their lives are ending in religion. Come on, y'all. Tell the truth. Church people's lives are ending in religion. Even Christians. Christians' lives are ending in religion. The false religion of Christianity. That's their life. It's, it, them people are going to die in that stuff, man. It's the same thing over and over and over and over with them people. They go to church. They hear the same old stupid sermon. And they go home. That's it. Their lives are going to end in Christianity and the false religion that it is. That's it. That's it for them. But I got to tell you something. I got to tell you something, man. Jesus does not want your life to end like that. He don't. Jesus does not want your life to end like that. Jesus wants your life ending great. Jesus wants your life ending beautiful. Jesus wants your life ending well, man. I'm telling y'all the truth. You want to know one of the reasons why Jesus went to them followers and he picked them in the Bible? He wanted their lives to end well, man. Y'all, I'm telling y'all some, some, some deep stuff right here, man. Look at this thing with an open eye, man. I'm taking you on a journey. When Jesus went to them disciples, when he went to them disciples, man, you got to understand this particular thing. Jesus was already looking at their lives. Jesus saw that their lives was not going to end well. Remember, Peter was a fisherman. Peter life wasn't going to end well without Jesus, y'all. Peter was a fisherman. He was depressed. He was miserable. He wasn't making no money fishing. Peter life was going downhill. But when Jesus met him, Jesus took that dude life on a journey, man. Because Jesus was looking at how Peter's life was going to end. And, and Jesus went to him. And you got to understand that, man. Jesus went to him. Look at Mary Magdalene, y'all. Mary Magdalene was a prostitute out there sleeping with men for money. And y'all, and, and what happened with her? Jesus looked at how her life was going to end. So he reached that woman and saved her and brought her in the kingdom, man. You got to understand something, y'all. Everybody in the Bible who God picked to follow him. God was looking at how their lives was going to end. And God came in their life, changed their life, helped them, and gave them a better ending. See what I'm saying? Sometimes you people can mess up your own ending. I got to say this right quick before I shut this message down. Sometimes you can destroy your own ending. You can have a beautiful ending and you can destroy it. I'll give you the example right quick. Samson had a beautiful ending, but Samson destroyed it when he hooked up with the wrong woman, Delilah. Samson had a beautiful ending, y'all. You know if Samson would have not hooked up with Delilah, he would have had a beautiful ending. Samson would have had a beautiful ending, but he messed up his ending when he hooked up with Delilah. David had... Here it is. David had a beautiful ending, but he messed up his ending when he hooked up with Bathsheba and God cursed his family. Solomon had a beautiful ending, but Solomon messed it up too. Adam and Eve would have had a beautiful ending, but they messed it up by disobeying God in the garden. See what I'm saying? You can already have a beautiful ending, but don't screw it up. And the problem with y'all, y'all gonna screw it up. Let's be real, man. You know you're going to screw it up. You're screwing up now. Look at the secret stuff you're doing with your life. You're screwing up now. I'm dear. This is common sense. A lot of you all have an opportunity to have a beautiful ending, but you screwing it up. Relationships, marriages, hanging around the haters and the gossipers, being a damn religious fool. you screwing up your ending. And guess what? Your life going to end. I don't care how you feel about it. It's coming to an end. Your life is coming to an end. All of our lives got to come to an end. And the deal is with our lives is how it's going to end. That's the message, man. So with all that being said, y'all, this is Tiario. And I just had to hit y'all with this truth, man. With all that being said, y'all, I'm out. Peace.